Hey everyone, Mark Meckler, President of Convention Estates here to talk to you about something that's really near and dear to my heart. And when I say it's near and dear to my heart, I'm not overstating that. We give out awards constantly throughout the year, uh, all different kinds of awards, but our highest honor in Convention of States that we give out during the year is something called a challenge coin. And we came up with this idea way back when, 10 years ago, when we started Convention of States, the idea Mike Ferris and I came up with is that the grassroots mean everything in this organization. Our grassroots are all incredible. People who step up into leadership positions and people who do take on state leaders, district captain, all these different things, right? All of those people are really important. But as you all know, if you participate in any of these state teams, sometimes there are people who are just above and beyond. Everybody knows who they are. In every state, if you say, man, who's the person who does the most? Who's the person that's done everything? Who's the person that's always been around when you need them? That's somebody that deserves to receive one of our challenge coins. So back when we started the organization in 2013, we designed a challenge coin. It's a beautiful limited edition minted coin on one side is George Mason's face, the founder of the Article 5 movement, the guy who gave us this idea that we needed to be able to call a convention of states to propose amendments to restrain federal tyranny. On the other side of the coin is the original COS logo, now a collector's edition because that logo has been phased out and we have a, a new logo, it's been so long. We minted 300 of these coins 10 years ago and now all of them have been given out. And I told you back then, if you were with us 10 years ago, that we were breaking the mold and that there would never be any more of these coins. They came with a certificate signed by myself and my co-founder, Mike Ferris, a beautiful certificate. They came with a lapel pin that you can wear, acknowledging they're a challenge coin winner. And over 10 years, we've given away 300 of them. Think how incredible that is. That means over 10 years, only 30 a year. That's an incredibly low number. This is a rarefied achievement. If you're one of the members of the Challenge Coin Club, there aren't a lot of you out there. 10 years, 300 people, and there are no more of this Challenge Coin. They've all been given out. And I'm excited to announce we have a new award for Challenge Coin recipients. I promised you that Challenge Coin would be no more. We don't break those promises. Those of you who got the first 300, none of those will ever be made again. So we're introducing with this video, a new challenge coin. I'm really excited about this one. It's a new era and it is a challenge coin that honors not one of our founders, not one of our framers, but I think one of the greatest American statesmen of the modern era, our good friend, the late great Dr. Tom Coburn. Tom Coburn, he left the Senate a couple of years early to join Convention of States because he believed he wasn't gonna be able to fix DC from DC. Tom had been fighting cancer many times over his life. I think his first diagnosis, he was 38 years old, and ultimately he was 71 years old when he passed away, but he dedicated the last five years of his life to fighting for a convention of states. I'll never forget a moment at the last summit that he attended with us when I was sitting on stage with him and I asked him the question, Tom, why do you keep fighting? And he gave me a look that I might not have been able to see from the audience, a look that kind of said, why are you even asking me? such a crazy question. And he responded by saying something that I think is incredibly profound, yet very simple. He said, what else would I do? And so this challenge coin has Tom Coburn's face on it. It has that quote on it, which is incredible to me. It's something that motivates me and inspires me every day. It has the new logo on the other side. And once again, we've minted only 300 of these. That mold has been destroyed. There will be no more challenge coins like this made. Again, this is rare territory. It's something that I think all volunteers should as aspire to. And if you achieve it, you should be very proud of it. You know, when I travel all over the country, as I do constantly, and I'm out in the field and I meet grassroots all over the place, and I see somebody wearing one of those challenge coins pin pins on their lapel, it honestly brings tears to my eyes. It chokes me up because I know what went into that. I know that your state team nominated you because they believe in you so much and they've seen your sacrifice and your dedication. I know that ha has to come up through your regional director and they have to vouch for you as well. And then that has to be approved at the national team level. This is a rare honor. And it is my honor and my privilege to introduce the new Tom Coburn Challenge Coin.